Hi uh, everybody, today we are gonna perform a dollar store sites upgrade for less than three dollars. It is always recommended to clean your stuff before you try to paint over it. All you will need is white nail polish, mine is called Snow Me White, and red nail polish, mine is called Tough Love. The brand doesn't really matter, these are from the dollar store. They cost $1 each plus Canadian taxes. Rip off. <coughs> so, I learned a couple things while doing this and while doing my test on a piece of plastic. First, don't put too much or you will have to start over again. Thanks to Model Naughty, the RC guy, for reminding me that primer works a lot better when you do some sort of paint. Using white nail polish as a primer makes night and day difference. If you want to do this, I really suggest you use some. You have basically twice the work, but twice as good as a result. So this time, to not put too much on, I wipe it off the excess on a cardboard from a pellet tin. Let's call it the Andy Dandy Warranty Cardboard from Gamo. I had a hard time doing this one, it's the first one, but it is not too bad. I will be doing four different guns in this video. Now it's time to do it on the MK45, which is similar to the C11, but is tan color. Next one on the list is the Vigilante CO2 pistol. This one was really easy to do. And the last and not least, the good old and dirty Red Rider. I had to start this one over a couple times before using my brain, so here is another tip for you. I did not use masking tape because I was worried it would be too thick, but a piece of paper will help you a lot to not put somewhere you don't want to. If someone knows where to get some Daisy's fiber optics, let me know, because they are way too expensive to get in Canada. But honestly, I think this one is gonna look pretty good. I had some things to do, so I let it dry for about 45 minutes. Make sure you do let it dry fully before trying to apply another coat or you will mess everything up. So now they are ready for the second step, which is the red color. I will be using the tips I learned from my mistake. First, don't put too much on and use a piece of cardboard to remove the excess. The piece of paper will make your life easier. I use it on all of them. I even used the hole in the paper for the C11 because the front side has a weird shape. Another tip, don't overdo it, don't do too much stroke, you will just mess it up and do a weird texture like this. This one is not perfect, I got some white on the bottom of it. But with $3, I did 4 guns and I can do a lot more. I will not include the white color in the tips. but. Make sure you do let it dry in between the coats and it seems like doing strokes from bottom to top is better. But we live in a free world pal, so do what you want. If you got some tips to share with us, please do so. But I think it turned out pretty good with my poor skills and my shaky hands. You could also use an extra color to do the rear side if you want to, but I kept mine black because grass is green and I did not find a good green nail polish at the dollar store, but that's gonna be a lot better already. Better than black on black for sure. Which kind of sides do you prefer personally? Please tell me in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.